Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Baja Bug. Check this thing out. I got the springs adjusted so that they're sitting quite a bit higher. And uh, so the car's not Carolina squatting anymore. And then uh, just a few things I want to go over. Coolant lines are in. This is um, where our gauge will have the uh, setting unit, uh, but I'm still waiting on the gauge. And then uh, coolant reservoir is mounted right here. Airplane. So we kind of just got that thrown together. I don't know, I, it looks kind of cool, kind of steampunk, but it's kind of the best place to put it because um, we didn't have to lengthen any of these factory, um, you know, water pump um, hoses. So it should theoretically be as efficient as it was from factory. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. Um, so today what I'm going to do is take this shifter out and install, where is it? Where's my, oh, there it is. Um, this, this upright shifter that sits on top of the tunnel. And then we'll put uh, some kind of rod that goes back to here. Uh, I tried this little adapter. And it worked until my shift pushing inside the tunnel broke. Yeah! And uh, yeah, so I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade the shifter. So uh, yeah. You really ought to be careful with your transmissions. Just got it. There we go. So I got the old uh, shift linkage out. I don't know if it's supposed to be bent or not, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's a byproduct of the uh, hacking and damage I put it through to get it out. That was such a pain. All right, so here's the plan. I'm going to use the original shift rod, and I've gotten it pretty straight. It's not perfect. I bought this universal joint on Amazon. That's gonna slide onto there and then I'm gonna like drill a little cavity there so that this Allen key can sink into it. That way it'll be nice and solid on it. And then the other end, I'm just gonna weld to this rod. So we'll go from there. So now, as you can see, I have made a nice, nice weld through paint because grinding down paint is for sissies. Anyways, as you can see, we have a, a uh, little Allen key on the end here. So what I'm gonna do is take a drill bit and just drill a little ways into this, into these threads. I'm gonna have the nut on the end so that we can suck it. Suck it, you suck it. Suck it. This way tight to the end of this so that it just puts a bunch of pressure on the Allen key and just keeps it nice and tight. All right, so it was impossible to try and drill into that. So I ended up just welding the nut to the end. And uh, this actually gives us some more adjustability too, so we can kind of crank it down and uh, move it a little bit if we need to. All right, and here's how it's looking so far. I decided to just go ahead and drill a hole and use a screw to go to the nose cone of the transmission. Really nice, you know, tight kind of feel. I mean, barely moves at all. So, and then uh, this is kind of just dry fit right now. You can kind of, well, maybe it's gonna be stuck, but there we go. Um, this isn't obviously on there yet, but the whole shifter is on some studs that I welded to the tunnel. So that's how it'll mount with these holes right here so everything will be bolt on and adjustable which is good all right so it's uh, pretty dark sure are a lot of stars out tonight well this is getting weird don't know what time it is but i've been out here for quite a while but as you can see everything is bolted up ready to go got neutral first gear Second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Awesome. 
reverse lockout. Now she's in reverse. Push the button again. Back in neutral. So we got all the gears. Everything feels solid. Super tight. I mean, this shifter is so tight. It's gonna take some getting used to, but it's pretty freaking awesome. And then as you can see, I did move it back a few inches. Um, and that's because I really didn't like how far forward the old shifter was because your, your arm was just under the dash when you put it in first or third. So I moved it back, especially because I'm uh, decently tall. So I'm going to be sitting quite, uh, quite a bit back in the car. So it's nice to have that a few inches back so it's easier to grab. Um, so yeah, I also have a little locking nut on there. This whole thing, you can undo this locking nut and then the whole thing can spin. So you can adjust it if needed. So um, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I do apologize, I am a little bit sick. But yeah, there you go update on the Baja bug. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed the video. Have a good one.